It's time to battle with cute cats. Hello Metaverse, it's me Notice, your host here with another play to earn game feature from the Asgard Metagill. In today's video, we'll take a look at Ninico, another idle battle RPG play to earn game, this time featuring Kid Cat Warriors. Before we proceed, do more features, reviews, and guides for your favorite play to earn game, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be updated with what's latest from the Asgard Metagill. So, are you ready to battle with the Nekos? Let's dive in! Niniko is a brand new idol RPG play to earn game where you control cute Ninikos to play for rewards. Ninikos are cute like creatures that have unique affiliations, classes, and skills that help determine their strengths and weaknesses. As an idol battle RPG game, you don't have to worry about controlling your Ninikos in real time, but you just need to deploy them and watch them win. Aside from battles, other systems such as breeding, Equipment, Niniko upgrades, and dungeons are also available and we'll talk more about them later in this video. Niniko can be played either on mobile or on PC with downloads now available on their website. Now that we have a good idea about the game, let's talk about the Ninikos. <laughs> Niniko is what we call the cat-like characters that you use in the game. Ninikos can be purchased in the public marketplace and it is sold or can be traded using the Binance coin or the BNB currency. Ninikos are divided into 6 factions and 5 different classes. The factions are Fire, Water, Thunder, Wind, Earth, and Yin Yang. Each faction can be weak or strong against each other and the game follows rock paper scissors format to help determine which faction is strong against the other. Fire Ninikos are strong against wind, wind is strong against thunder, thunder is strong against earth, earth is strong against water, and water is strong against fire. Yin Yang is a special faction that is not weak against the other factions but they are not strong against them as well. Aside from factions, Ninikos also comes in different classes, namely the Warrior, Mage, Support, Ranger, and Assassin. Each class offers different stats for your Niniko and can even give certain bonuses depending on class. Talking about stats, each Niniko has basic stats such as Heal or their HP, Attack which determines their damage, Armor meaning how tough they are in battle, and Speed. Each Niniko is also composed of different parts or cat attributes that include the mouth, eyes, hair, hand, ears, and tail. The hand cat attribute determines the Niniko's class and also their active skill, while the hair, tail, and eyes all give passive skills or abilities to your Niniko. Aside from skills, Ninikos can also be made more powerful using equipment and upgrades, and that's what we'll quickly run through next. Of course, you can make your Niniko more powerful, and that is through the upgrade system. When completing battles, you will be rewarded with green fish items that you can use to level up your Niniko. Each level requires a certain number of green fishes, and once you hit a certain level, you'll be able to upgrade your Ninikos tier. Tier is kinda like rarity, and the higher their tier, the more levels that you can obtain, making your Niniko even more powerful. Upgrading tiers requires the use of purple fish, which can be obtained through a special dungeon, which we'll talk about later. Another way of improving your Ninikos power level is through the use of equipment. Equipments boost stats like health and attack and also has their own special bonuses when a specific set of equipment is used. Aside from armor and weapon items, there's also a special item that Ninikos can use called amulets. Amulets also grant special bonuses that are not limited to just HP and attack, 
but can also be upgraded using the game's native token, MADA, one of the in-game currencies in Niniko. Amulets are just one of the spending mechanisms available in Niniko, and we'll have some more to discover in just a bit. And lastly, for items, we have artifacts. Artifacts or artifact shards can be obtained when claiming your MADA token rewards in campaign mode, will also provide more unique bonuses for your Ninikos. Sounds like a lot of information already, right? Well, we still have a lot more to go. And the next thing that we are going to talk about are the battle mechanics. Ninico both has PvE or player versus enemy and PvP or player versus player mode available for its play to earn systems. In PvE, players will get to play in the Magic Tree and the game's PvE only dungeon which unlocks after the player reaches a certain level while doing the campaign. Completing Magic Tree battles rewards players with extra resources and even items to help make their Ninico get stronger. Another PvE mode is the campaign mode. In campaign mode, players can earn mana. Claiming mana costs stamina, and just like the other popular play to earn games, there is a limited amount of stamina or energy available per day for players. You can increase your stamina depending on how many Ninikos you have, and the more Ninikos, the more stamina or energy you can store which means that you can also claim more mana. Now that we've talked about the PvE game modes, it's time to tackle PvP. Same with its PvE game modes, battles in PvP for Niniko are automated, but it doesn't mean that you only leave your chance of winning to RNG. Properly positioning your Ninikos play a crucial part in winning battles, as well as team compositions. PvP battles can be done in a 1v1 versus setup or a triple battle mode where you battle other players 3 matches in a row. Aside from team composition, when it comes to classes, using Ninikos from the same faction can also add special bonuses to your team. Using more than 3 Ninikos of the same faction can provide HP and attack bonuses to your lineup and the more Niniko of the same faction that you have, the higher the bonuses can be. This mechanic is called the Team Aura. When working on your lineups though, take note that the Yin Yang faction is a neutral faction and will follow whatever faction is dominant in your Niniko roster for bonuses. So for example, if you have a total of 6 Ninikos and 3 of them are from the Fire faction and you have 1 from the Yin Yang faction, the Yin Yang faction will be counted as a Fire faction member allowing you to activate the 15% HP and 15% attack stat bonus for your team aura. PvP is a great way to earn more mana rewards, so paying close attention to your team composition, faction, and classes will really pay off when playing Niniko. Just like any other PvP play to earn game, Niniko also has its own competitive leaderboards which grants more rewards to top players and players who really want to become the best in the game. These competitive ladder are also called the arena. It also runs for a limited time and the top players will get to earn items. Lucky spin chances and as well as the Nino token, another in-game token for Niniko. Mata token, Nino token. What are they exactly? Well, you don't have to wait long to find out because tokenomics is up next. <laughs> So as we previously mentioned, Mata and Niniko are both in-game currencies for Niniko. Mata or the Mata Tabby token serve as the main currency for the game. It's used through bidding, item purchases, Niniko upgrades, and as well as equipment upgrades. Mata can be earned by winning PvE and PvP battles, with the rewards ratio to be continuously monitored and adjusted by the team depending on the current circulating supply. The next token for Niniko is called the Nino token or the Niniko token. Nino is Niniko's governance token that also has utility as it is also used 
in the breeding process. In contrast to Mara, Nino will have a finite supply with only a maximum of 200 million that will be made available and can be earned either through purchasing and trading or crypto swapping platforms or through staking. Nino tokens reserved for the development team and the investors are locked behind vesting periods of up to 11 months so players can feel at ease that the team is committed to making the game work and not just run away. Still, this is not a complete safeguard for any player who wants to invest in the game. So always take note of the potential risks just like any other crypto or play to earn related investment. Both tokens also run on the BEP20 network, a token standard on the Binance Smart Chain or BSC. Speaking of investment, did you know that there are also other ways of earning while playing Nico aside from battles? The first additional earning opportunity is of course breeding. Players can breed new Ninikos which they can sell in the marketplace. Breeding does require both Nino and Mata tokens and the final value of the new Ninico is depending on its resulting stats. What's cool about Ninico though is that it has a breeding simulation tool. Using this tool, you can determine your initial expense when breeding Ninicos, the potential results of the breed, and even the floor price of the newly breed Ninico if you want to sell it in the marketplace. Just take note though that since the results are simulated, it may not be 100% accurate with real life result, but it does give you a rough idea if it's worth to breed Ninicos depending on your choice of parents. Another way of earning in Ninico is through friend referrals or friend invites. Inviting friends using your own unique invite link will earn you battle points and each battle point can unlock different in-game items and even meta tokens. Just take note that the friend invite rewards are limited but it is still a nice bonus to have. It seems like there really is something to say about Ninico but before we share our thoughts, let's take a quick detour and talk about the team and the game's immediate feature. Ninico is developed by a team from a company called Grab Game. As per their website, Grab Game is a game studio founded in 2012 and is making games for the PC and mobile platforms. Their company is based in Vietnam, and while they have a website, they do not have a list of projects or portfolio detailing what games they work on. They do have a Facebook page though with about 200 followers and based on their previous posts, they have seemed to produce games like Balloon Fight Club and Kingdom Reborn. Sadly, however, it seems that these games are no longer available so we're not able to completely check them out. In terms of roadmap, Nico has project goals that last until May of 2022 or later this year. Their next big targets include a Guild War mechanic which they plan to launch this coming April and a village building gameplay that is coming this May. After that though, we have nothing so we're not sure what direction the game will take or what big update is coming next for the project. And that ends our video for today! Did you learn something new about Nidico? What do you think about the game? Well for us, well it does have a lot of great things already implemented from the get-go such as adding spending mechanics to help promote value for their MATIC token and prevent oversupply. The game is also easily accessible with clients available for Windows, PC, Android, 
iOS, and even Mac OS users. And players can also play for free while saving up for their first NFT Ninikos. Still, the lack of further transparency with the team members, and as well as a roadmap that ends in May 22, leaves a feeling of uncertainty surrounding the project. How about you though? What are your thoughts? Be sure to share it in the comments and don't forget to leave a like plus hit the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of our content. Until next time, see you in the metaverse.